Under the new eligibility requirements announced today, your YouTube channel, Chris Guess, is no longer eligible for monetization because it doesn't meet the new threshold of 4,000 hours of watch time within the past 12 months and 1,000 subscribers. As a result, your channel will lose access to all monetization tools and features associated with the YouTube Partner Program. On February 20th, 2018, unless you surpass this threshold in the next 30 days. Accordingly, this email serves as 30 days notice that your YouTube Partner Program terms are terminated. YouTube today killed my channel. As of this morning, thousands if not millions of small creators on YouTube have received that email telling them that they are being kicked out of the YouTube Partner Program. This means they can no longer monetize their videos and therefore can no longer earn ad revenue from those videos. The new criteria to be a YouTube partner is 4,000 hours of watch time and 1,000 or more subscribers. So for most small YouTubers like myself, we're just not hitting those numbers quite yet. But that doesn't mean to say that we're not putting in equal effort. Most small YouTubers run their channel on the side of an existing day job. I myself work full time and do this in my evenings and on the weekend. When you're slowly trying to grow your channel and YouTube sends you an email like this, it's effectively telling you to give up. Part of the reason YouTube is doing this is to avoid incidents like the Logan Paul video that caused such controversy in the past couple of weeks. Whilst I totally agree with the actions to remove content like that from YouTube, I don't think penalising all YouTubers is the way to go about it. So you may think most of us are upset because we are losing money. The fact is that most small YouTubers aren't actually drawing any money from YouTube at this point in time. I myself haven't had my first paycheck from YouTube, but I can see that there is money being deposited into my account. However, the reason for joining the YouTube Partner Program in the first instance was all the additional features that it gives you. Things like cards that you get at the top of the screen, the end screen credits where you can link other videos or subscription boxes, and custom thumbnails. Now whilst I believe anyone that's already in the program and being kicked out like myself will continue to benefit from those additional features, it looks like anyone that hasn't yet joined the program is going to have to meet the new criteria. The old criteria was 10,000 total channel views. Once you'd reached that point, then you could join the YouTube Partner Program, you could add those additional features, and that helped you to grow your channel over time. So YouTube actually cites the fact that these channels will be demonetized as not being such a big issue because most of these channels aren't actually earning any money. In fact, 99% of the channels affected were making less than $100 a year, with 90% earning less than $2.50 in the past month. However, I see this as them totally missing the point. One of the reasons to monetize your channel was to get the extra features as mentioned before, and the other reason is motivation. If you can see just a few cents or the odd dollar going into your account over time, you can see that there might be some light at the end of the tunnel if you want to try and make it into a career. It seems to me that one of the reasons that YouTube are doing this is to just have a clear out on the platform. I think a lot of YouTubers will leave the platform, decide to either go elsewhere or give up altogether. This, in my opinion, could mean that the platform may stagnate and that it will only continue to reward those YouTubers that have made it big. Whilst most of those deserve every success they have, I think it's YouTube itself is what's pushing its creators to do more and more extreme things in order to get views. There's much more clickbait titles on YouTube than there ever was before and much more risky videos that are unsuitable for advertisers than ever before because that is what YouTube's algorithms actually favour. So having pushed creators to make such bad taste content, they now find themselves in a situation where they need to clean up their act but seem to be doing this by penalising people working hard at the bottom and not punishing those individuals that have overstepped the mark. I think the problem with YouTube is that it seems to think that making money on the platform is a privilege for the few and not the many, and perhaps doesn't recognise the amount of investment that most small creators are making in order to try and create great content for the platform. My goal on YouTube has always been to create a wide variety of great content and improve my filmmaking on every video. Time will tell whether I decide to continue to do this or whether this is the last straw. Let me know what you think in the comments and if you've been affected by these changes.